It's funny, I get asked the same question by almost every single CEO that I work with. From early stage founders, which actually you expect when you hear the question, through to enterprise CEOs, CEOs of FTSE, Fortune, NASDAQ, publicly listed companies. And they ask me the same question every single time. And it always surprises me. Maybe it's early on in the first stages of our relationship where we're just figuring out which will fit. Or maybe it's later on down the line when we are yeah, a couple of months in. But they always ask me the question. They ask me the question, am I doing this right? What, what does it actually mean to be a CEO? And that question, you know, when I first heard it, especially from the more experienced CEOs, really surprised me. You think, well, you should have had this figured out by now, but of course they haven't. I mean, it's a big question. What does it mean to be your CEO? And the answer I always give, I mean, obviously they're asking the question in a very coachy way, what do you think it means? Is actually, it means different things to different people. Different CEOs manage their businesses in different ways. They act in different ways. They lead in different ways. And the best CEOs lead in a way that's comfortable and suits them and is a way that's very authentic to the way that they are as human beings. If they're trying to make it up or pretend to be somebody else, then that often means they're not doing it the right way and it feels wrong to them. It doesn't seem natural when they're trying to be a Bill Gates or a Steve Jobs or an Elon Musk or a Sam Altman or whoever they're trying to be. It's not them. And so the exercise we always take on together is we list out, well, tell me the CEOs that you respect, which CEOs do you respect and why? And we list out everything that we respect about those CEOs. What is it they like about that person? What do they respect about that leadership style? What is it that makes that CEO great? And often what comes back really is a list of things that's almost pretty great about them. The things that they want to improve, the things that they know that they are good at, the things that they respect in others. And really that gives them the way forward to decide to, well, you know, actually what, what way they want to be a CEO. And it can be a real breakthrough for a lot of people, not having to adhere to a way that Harvard Business Review tells you or copying somebody that really isn't you, but copying the traits and the attributes of people that you respect, that you really want to be like. And that's not like taking a carbon copy of a Steve Jobs. There's great things about him and there's not so great things about him. But all it really means is being very intentional about how you turn up as a CEO. What does it mean for you to be a CEO? How are you going to do that? If you'd like to work through this exercise with me, I'd love to. Drop me a line. Um, yeah, and we'll chat. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.